Nestled in the hills of New York's Hudson River Valley lies the town of Sleepy Hollow, a place where a spooky legend meets modern day life. Dutch settlers came here in the 1600s to farm, trap, and fish. At this historic manor, you can still experience life as it was in the 17th and 18th centuries. It's a fun place to visit, but it's the tale of a gangly schoolmaster and a headless horseman that really put Sleepy Hollow on the map. The legend of Sleepy Hollow is the ultimate creepy story. Now dwelling in these parts in a tenant house was a certain schoolmaster by the name of Ichabod Crane. American author Washington Irving visited this area as a boy and is believed to have based the legend of Sleepy Hollow on people and places right in this town. Bill Lent is the sexton of the old Dutch church. He knows everything there is to know about the legend, showing tourists where the famous characters are buried. And when he was writing the book, he remembered the name on the stone, Katrina Van Tassel, lead female character in the legend of Sleepy Hollow. As the story goes, Ichabod Crane fled across the bridge to the old Dutch church, racing to escape the headless horseman close behind. Ichabod urged his horse gunpowder on, come, come, but the horse needed no further urgings. It took off and headed down to get to that churchyard bridge. Every year, Sal Tarantino plays the headless horseman in the town's Halloween festival. The hardest problem is a real jack-o'-lantern. We've tried that several times. Um, a good-sized jack-o'-lantern with the right candle and it weighs about 20 pounds and to hold that out on your arm and try to control a horse at 40 miles an hour in the dark doesn't work too well. Irving did not actually write the legend here in Sleepy Hollow, but he loved the area so much he returned as an adult to live on this 24-acre estate right on the Hudson River. And nearly two centuries after Irving wrote The Legend of Especially Sleepy Hollow, the history and landscape of this place still inspire. And the legend lives on. If you listen, you'll hear the unmistakable clattering of hooves of the headless horseman. Beware, he still rides, he still rides here.